I'm John Hanna, and we have Jody Susan Millman, who is the author of Limelight Edition's Sits Theater Guides, including the third edition of Sits New York. Tell us about your book. Okay, my book is 180 Seating Plans for the New York Metro Area Concerts, Halls, Theaters, and Sports Stadiums. Um, we provide information such as disability seating, how to get to the theater, where parking, anything you need for the perfect evening in New York City. What do I get out of it instead of looking for those information online? Okay, well, first of all, the, the beginning of the book is a ticket concierge, which has information about how to get cheap and free seats for all the major events in New York City. That's the first big, the first big plus. The second big plus is this book makes you an educated consumer. Given the current economy, we're uh, we're providing a vehicle to allow you to negotiate and get the best seat in the house for the best price. In today's prices of 100 plus ticket, what kind of discounts can I see using your book? You can see discounts of up to 40 to 50, sometimes even 60 percent off of the uh, the, the price of the of the ticket. For example, um, there's theatermania.com. Broadwaybox.com, Playbill.com are all free services where you enroll over the Internet, and then you're entitled to certain codes which give you this discount when you go ahead and order your tickets. What is your definition of best seats in the house? The best seat in the house is generally somewhere around the 10th row. People like to sit up close, but you're, getting, you're, you're, see, you're not going to see a full stage. That's why from the 10th to the 15th row, that's the best seat of the house. If those aren't available, I always suggest people sit in the first three rows of the mezzanine, which provides you with stadium seating and free uh, view of the entire stage. And often those mezzanine seats are much cheaper than the orchestra seats right below. If, if I wanted to get like, uh, a comfortable seating uh, plan, uh, is that part of your book? Let's say, for example, there are some theaters in New York City that's, that's a little bit cramped, you know, that you can't move your legs at all. Well, yes, if you look at our book, what we've done is we've, we have seat by, a seat-by-seat seat chart for all the theaters. By looking at the chart, you'll be able to see where the aisles are, so that you'll be able to have leg room, where the breaks are, where... Um, for example, there's a space in the balcony, or you can definitely tell where the most comfortable seats are. But you have to realize that most of these theaters are over 100 years old. There's going to be a little bit of cramping, but you'll be able to look at the book and see where you're going to have the most comfortable seat. The title of your book, uh, third edition, um, Seats New York, does that mean that you have other editions coming out in the future? Well, actually, the first the book first came out in 1998. My father uh, created and designed the book. And so that was the first edition of our Seats New York. Um, we did a second edition in 2002. This is the third edition of our New York volume. We've also done Seats Chicago. We have our first edition, which came out in 2004. Any tips on booking a seat? Let's say, for example, I wanted to watch a, a theater tonight, uh, a Broadway show tonight. What, what, what tips can you uh, give me? The tip is to call and speak to a, a person who's in charge of tickets, whether it's Ticketmaster or, or Telecharge or Smart Tix or whatever the booking agency is. Don't book over the Internet because you cannot change the seats. The rule of thumb is that the theaters, the, the, excuse me, the rule of thumb is that the theaters sell the back of the house first. So when you pull a, a seat up on the computer, they're giving you the worst seats avail that are available, not the best seats are available. If you talk to a live operator over the phone, you can often negotiate by looking at the seating chart and asking, is orchestra row G seat 102 on the aisle available? And if it is, often you get that seat and you get it at a discount price. Again, that is with your uh, book as a companion guide. Exactly. Exactly. Now, the charts online are often not reliable, they're not updated, and they're little boxes. They're very difficult to read. Ours is a user-friendly book, which is color-coded according to the price of the seats, and also it's very easy to read seat-by-seat um, -seat charting, so you'll be able to know exactly where you're sitting. You should keep this next to the phone if you're going to be ordering tickets. The, the prices of, of theater tickets are like really, really high right now, especially with the economic downturn. Um, how, what kind of tips can you give me in order to buy an affordable 
or a cheaper version of the same show. Okay, for a day of show tickets, the best thing to do is go to the TKTS booth, which is right in Duffy Square in the heart of Times Square. There, the theaters on a day-to-day -day basis release tickets, and you'll be able to get tickets up to 40 or 50 percent off. That's for the day of show. And I would suggest that um, if you're going to go to a matinee, you get there before 2 o'clock. If you're going to go to an evening show, get there before 7 o'clock. Um, that's for the day of show tickets. Another tip is that TKTS, which is run by the Theater Development Fund, also allows you to buy $9 vouchers. And those vouchers allow you to actually attend an off-Broadway show for $9. So a ticket that might be 40 or 50 if you go up to the box office of an off-Broadway theater is only $9, which is really kind of nice. Another thing is that people should definitely check the Internet. And when you check the Internet, in my book I have a list of the top ten websites where you can get discount seats. Shop around on those websites because I've seen some tickets listed for 40% off on one website. You go to the next website and it's 60% off for the same ticket. Is there like a website for people to see whether or not you've updated some of your information? Sure. Um, people can check at www.worldseats.com. We update our charts. We also provide more information than we could possibly cram in the book. There's only 180 charts, which is a lot, but there, there are many more theaters out there, and we are trying to get as much as we can on the website to make people educated consumers when they go to the theater. Yep. Any more um, uh, information or tips? Oh, one thing that um, that we didn't even mention about the book is that in the book we have um, a, a an actual map of several of the seats theater districts. So, for example, if you want to know where uh, your theater is located, that information is also in the back of the book. In addition, because we couldn't possibly list all the venues that are out there, we've created an offbeat seat section. So if you want to go to a comedy club or a cabaret or go to a black box or a dance event, all of that information is contained within the new version, the third edition of Seats New York. Where can they buy your book? It's available at all major bookstores. Um, it's available at uh, Barnes & Noble and Amazon. And you can also go to worldseats.com and we'll give you a link get you to the to the best bargain for the book as well. Awesome. Great. That's Jody Susan Millman, author of the third edition of Seats, New York.